So I broke some axles last time out and my front diff. Uh, I gotta change the axles out. And uh, I got it all tore apart. I just wanna show this thing off. I got it all tore apart and ready to take out. And uh, this one probably will come out real easy. I got anti seize on it. But, uh, or I should anyway. This contraption here, the axle puller. Just a three inch exhaust clamp. And I had a buddy of mine, Kevin, weld some chain to the end of it, or to the sides of it, I guess I should say, and then a slide hammer. That's my old one that I made a couple years ago that uh, seen some better days. It's pretty rough. I think I made that about four or five years ago. But it, it's starting to break apart because obviously I'm not a fucking welder. Look at those. That's, that's disgusting. <laughs> Anyhow, just another design. Pretty much the same concept though. The chain is a little bit better because you can, it's a little bit more, I don't know, you can put it in your toolbox a little easier. And here is yet another way, another uh, design on the old axle puller and slide hammer deal. Just two vice grips, the bolts ran through the chain links and attached to a slide hammer. It works too and I gotta eat some crow because uh, my buddy Ricky Robbie told me that the exhaust clamp wouldn't fit on the passenger side rear of the Ranger and I told him it would but I was fucking wrong. He was right. I'll say it. It fits everywhere else though. God damn it. So for the back rear back rear driver side I'm sorry. We'll have to use the vice grips. Which do not work as good as the exhaust clamp. Too. Always use plenty of anti-seas on the new one. Also can't say enough about that Harbor Freight uh, impact, electric impact, about forty dollars. Forty dollars well spent. Couple of nuggets, good to go.
I'm leaving that sway bar off because I got to do the other side and it's a little bit easier to move the arms out of the way. So that's that. Uh, your results may differ. Hell, my results differ if I wasn't trying to film every bit of it. That's kind of a pain in the ass, actually. And uh, they sure as shit differ when I'm drunk as fuck in the woods at three in the morning in the dark. Give me a comment down below, tell me what you think. Even if it's negative, I don't give a shit. That still counts as video interaction. And everybody that leaves a negative comment 99% of the fucking time, it's some fucking cocksucker with no videos. Just somebody that signed up to be a fucking troll. I don't care. I still get counts. I still get views. That's cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope I helped somebody.